Good morning. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group Trading Floor in Chicago. Okay, so we're wrapping up November. We're uh, into the Thanksgiving week. The markets continue to melt up. Dow's above 16,000. The S&P is over 1,800. And this morning, NASDAQ's touching about 4,000. So I want to talk about a few theme, themes going on in the market here. Number one, we are not in a bubble. Number two, this is more than just a sugar high. Number three, got to kind of ignore what the government's doing and look at stocks if that's what you're trading. And number four, follow the money. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Well, the market, it can correct at any time. In fact, we have a fair amount of distribution days uh, as this market continues to go up. So that tells you that the market, you know, markets always want to pull back. However, there's a lot of stories in the financial press, how we're entering in a bubble and so forth. Nothing close to it. The fact that we're talking about bubbles, we're probably not in a bubble. Bubbles happen when no one's talking about it, when everyone said extreme euphoria, extreme optimism, and just think the markets will never stop. We're nowhere near that. Furthermore, we don't have any divergence. Typically, when you see bubbles, you'll see one sector leading the charge, and everything else has started turning over and caving. In fact, what we see right now is as the market touches higher, as the Dow moves higher, the Dow transports are moving higher, every S&P sector underneath the hood's moving with this. Uh, we have the financials now that were sort of lagging the market a little bit now kicked in. So again, it's very unlikely this is a bubble. Now, number two is that we're on a sugar high created by the Fed's QE. Again, I don't believe this is true. If it was true, we'd see the P.E. ratios expanding enormously, and we don't have that at all. In fact, they've kind of been contracting slightly since the 2009 bottom. So QE, you know, they tell us how it's printing money. It's really not. This is just money sitting, sitting on the balance sheet. If it indeed was printing money, we'd see this as signs of inflation. If you want to tell me, well, the government figures aren't right in inflation, well, what about gold prices? They should be skyrocketing. In fact, we have just the opposite, gold sliding down. So again, the reason the market's going up is we got record earnings, record profits, and this, so for the near term, at least it's going to continue for a little bit. So forget about the Fed. Now, a lot of times when I talk to retail investors, uh, they're scared of the stock market because they're scared of what's going on in Washington. Again, you have to ignore what Washington's do doing, study what the stocks are doing. Washington had nothing to do with inventing the smartphone. Washington had nothing to do with inventing smart tablets. They had nothing to do with 3D printing. In fact, they probably want to slow down fracking, but private companies uh, on private lands explored, did a lot of fracking, now the U.S. is going to be a net exporter of oil. So again, don't focus on Washington, focus on the entrepreneurial companies that are creating these new products and making our lives better. The drug companies, uh, again, Washington had nothing to do with this. Uh, Gilead's going to come out with a drug that's going to be curing people of hepatitis C. This is revolutionary. And again, these are private companies that are being, I mean, excuse me, publicly traded, they have nothing to do with the government. And the last one is follow the money. Money's coming out of bond funds and flowing into equity funds. This is a big change that started a few months ago. Uh, kind of actually started a little earlier in the year, but wasn't that convincing, but now it's ongoing. Uh, yields are rising, bonds are going to drop, that money's got to go somewhere. Right now, the stock market's the best place in town. So, as always, let price and volume be your guide. Don't ch just take my word for it. Yes, we will have corrections, but right now I'll tell you one thing. This is not a bubble, and it's not a sugar high. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors, wishing you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. And this is also coming to you from the CME Group in Chicago. Thank you.